You're walking down the street when a tiny kitten catches your eye. Its fluffy tail flicks playfully, and you can't help but feel a burst of joy as it clumsily pounces towards you. Your heart melts. But later, you see a baby in a stroller. You look, expecting a similar reaction, but nothing. No warm fuzzies, no urge to coo. And you start to wonder, what's wrong with me? Am I crazy for not finding babies as cute as kittens? If you've had these thoughts, you're definitely not alone, and no, you're not crazy at all. While it's true that lots of people swoon over babies, and rightfully so, there's something about kittens that just grabs the attention of almost everyone. But why is this the case? What is it about kittens that makes them so irresistibly cute? Well, scientists have been curious about this too, and they've done some digging to figure it out. So, in this video, we're going to explore what they've discovered about why our brains often favor these furry little friends over human babies. Stick around to find out more. What makes something cute? A study has revealed that our attraction to cuteness plays an essential role in human survival. Humans are born less developed than many animals who can walk almost immediately after birth. Because of our premature state at birth, we need extensive care, making it crucial for our young to appear cute to ensure they receive necessary attention. One research showed that our brains react differently when we look at a baby's face compared to an adult's face. When we see an adult, the process starts in the eyes and then moves to the back of the brain, where we have a special area just for recognizing faces. But when we see a baby, Another part of the brain that handles our feelings and pleasures lights up at the same time as the face recognition area. This double reaction makes us notice babies very quickly and gives us a strong, immediate feeling that makes us want to take care of them. This dual reaction in the brain means that when we see a cute baby, they grab our attention almost instantly, so quickly that we're not even fully aware of it yet. Within just a moment of seeing a baby, our brain kicks into high gear, signaling that this baby needs care. Scientists have also created a way to measure cuteness using specific features like how big the forehead is compared to the face, how chubby the cheeks are, and how large the eyes are. Additionally, research has found that making a baby look even cuter with photo editing software can make people respond even more strongly to their cuteness. In other words, we can boost a baby's cuteness through technology. As people get older, their cuteness naturally decreases because their facial features change. These changes mean that over time, people's faces don't grab attention as quickly as they used to. So why then people find kittens cuter than babies? Jessica Gall Myrick, an associate professor of communications at Indiana University, conducted a study to understand why people enjoy watching cat videos. She discovered that watching these adorable animals significantly improved viewers' moods. People felt more hopeful, happy, and satisfied, and experienced less anxiety, annoyance, sadness, and guilt. They also felt more energized after watching the videos. Even pharmaceutical companies are interested in these mood-boosting effects. When it comes to cats, looking at them, especially your own pet, activates parts of the brain associated with emotions and rewards. Petting a cat goes a step further, reducing the stress-related chemical cortisol and increasing dopamine and oxytocin, which are linked to pleasure and bonding. This connection is mutual. Cats also experience an increase in oxytocin when they rub against their owners or nuzzle them with their noses. This might sound predictable. Of course, interacting with animals makes us happier. But did you know it could also improve your performance at work? Research has shown that after looking at pictures of kittens, people are more accurate and make fewer mistakes in tasks that require careful thinking and hand-eye coordination. And it turns out that for most people, kittens and puppies generally score higher on the scale of cuteness than human babies. We cat parents will be happy to hear that even adult cats are seen as cuter than babies by many people. You might wonder why humans have evolved to find baby animals cuter than our own species. One reason 
is our influence on the evolution of domestic cats through selective breeding, changing their appearances over generations. Researchers point out that cats have been bred to retain juvenile features, such as big eyes and small noses, which make them look like babies to us. When we first see them, our brains might think they're human babies, and even after realizing that they're not, we still feel compelled to care for them. Even fictional characters have been modified over time to appear cuter, with more baby-like features. This is evident in characters like Hello Kitty, which has increasingly adopted more infant-like facial features over the decades. One journalist humorously but accurately captured why many people might prefer kittens over babies. The sound of kittens meowing is seen as more endearing than the crying of babies. When a kitten stares at you, it's not unsettling like when babies do. Kittens are seen as cuddly and relatively clean, unlike babies who often deal with diapers and messes. Kittens have a degree of independence that tiny, helpless human babies do not. But that's not all. Turns out, it works the other way around as well. Babies also think cats are cuter than humans. From as young as three years old, we naturally find kittens cute. Researchers at the University of Lincoln decided to delve deeper into this by exploring how our bond with cats is influenced by their baby-like features and whether our reactions change as we age. While they could have listened to children's excited squeals to gauge their attraction to kittens, the researchers chose a more scientific approach. They used eye-tracking technology to study the reactions of children aged 3 to 6. They observed which features of the faces the children looked at most, and in another experiment, asked the children to rate the cuteness of the faces they saw. The experiment proved their theory correct. Even three-year-olds were strongly drawn to images of kittens and puppies. Additionally, images of adult cats were more appealing to the children than those of humans. Since cuteness has been linked to adults' willingness to adopt a baby, the authors suggest that the same could apply to adopting cats. They propose that the level of conventional attractiveness might also influence how humans care for their cats. The study could lead to further research with practical implications, such as investigating whether the cuteness of an animal in rescue centers affects its likelihood of being adopted. But here's the darker side to cuteness response. Cuteness aggression. Seriously, it's an actual psychological term. Have you ever thought a kitten was so cute that you felt an overwhelming urge to squeeze it? This bizarre impulse to show aggression toward adorable creatures has been studied by scientists. It occurs when your brain is so flooded with feelings from cuteness overload that it can't process it all. The theory suggests that when there's too much activity in the brain's emotional and reward centers, the brain begins to introduce negative or opposing feelings to balance itself out. If you're overwhelmed by a baby's cuteness, for instance, you might not be able to care for it effectively, so your brain tries to lessen the intense joy by introducing a counteracting emotion. By the way, did you know that where exactly your cat chooses to sleep says a lot about your relationship? Check out this video to find out the special meaning meaning of each spot to discover how your cat feels about you.